Welcome back to another episode of WordPress Insights with PixelMorm. In today's episode, we're going to go over how you can ensure that the images you use on your website are not insanely large. And this is a very important topic because file sizes for web pages has gone up significantly over the past few years. It's because people can take awesome shots with their iPhones, Android phones, Windows phones, or whatever device you're using to take pictures with. Well, when you take a picture with one of those devices, you get a very large image. And when you try to use that on a website, the problem is that if you don't edit it initially or um, right after you upload it and you just have that image on your web page then you might be serving files uh, images that are extremely large and will slow down the amount of time it takes for your page to load on a smartphone tablet or someone who unfortunately has a slow internet connection so what are we going to do here we're going to show you how to take care of that problem. So first thing you need to do is go to your website's domain uh, name in the URL bar followed by the forward slash wp-login.php. Once you do that, you'll be in the login screen. Put in your username and password and log in. All right, so we already put up a couple of images in our media library, and we're going to take a look at this. This one, as you can see, is one megabyte and is 2592 by 1565. And not too bad. Still too big, but, you know, I've seen worse. Let's look at the next one. All right. This one, three megabytes. Okay, so now that's seriously not a good file size for that image. And then the dimensions are 4,288 by 2848. And these images I got just as... Uh, Side note, from unsplash.com, it is an awesome website to get free images for your web, for your website, whether it's a personal blog or a business website. You're free to use their images. Um, so what do we do about these file sizes? Well, the first thing I always recommend people do is install a plugin. One of the great reasons, one of the reasons why I highly recommend WordPress is because there's a, a, a crazy amount of plugins out there that can pretty much tackle all of your needs. So you're going to hover on your admin sidebar menu, go to where it says plugins, and go to add new. So I'm going to have you type out the word insanity, I-M-S-A-N-I-T-Y, and click return. You're going to get see the first result is for the plugin that we want to use. Don't be concerned or alarmed by the image or by the name. Um, what they're talking about is the fact that images nowadays are insanely large on, uh, on web pages. As you can see, it has a five star review and is active on over 90,000 WordPress installations. So if you want to view more details, you can do so here. You can see some of the installation facts, some screenshots, the change log. Um, some facts that they have and reviews that people have given. So I highly recommend this plugin. All right, so we are installing it. We're going to activate the plugin. So now where can you find the plugin? Well, in your plugin section, you can either go to the settings link over here or you can visit your settings link in your admin sidebar. By doing so, you click on the link and you're going to see the uh, file size options that you have. Um, it might be 2100 by 2100 initially. I previously had this uploaded and deleted it and it's, the settings were saved in the database. So these are the settings that I would recommend, 1140 by 1140. So these are the settings that, that we have. For the JPEG image quality, I would leave it at 90. Um, this tends to be a good uh, quality size for the vast majority of websites out there and it's the default for WordPress. You can move that up if you want, you can bring it down if you want that also. And then you can leave these settings the same. Alright, so if you previously uploaded images as we did, we had two images uploaded, um, you can do a bulk resize of the images and it'll once you click the search images button It'll search for the images that are currently on your system. Once it identifies it, you'll see it'll show the file sizes, um, the, pixel the pixel width and 
the pixel height. If you want to resize those, you can either just leave them select all checked, or you can just individually choose which ones you want to check, uh, resize. We're going to resize all the images. We only had to. All right, so once it's done, let's see if any changes have happened. We'll go to our media library. We'll look at the surfer one since that was the largest one initially. Look at that. It was 11. Um, it is now 1140 by 757, and you see the image looks great. Just to give you a comparison, I'm going to drag the original image. We're going to get the info of that image, and look at that. You can see that originally the image was 2.8 megabytes, brought down to 72 kilobytes. That is significant. Previous file size was uh, 4288 by 2848 and now it's 1140 by 757. See this is reasonable, this makes sense and this will improve the load time of your website which is important especially since people are visiting your website on smartphones, on tablets or from a computer that might have a slow internet connection. Alright so that's the file comparison and if you look at the image itself it looks great. You don't lose the quality. You don't lose um, anything that would be detrimental to the image itself, but you do gain a significant benefit from having your images reduced in file size and dimensions. So this was just a quick uh, tip on how you can automatically by default have all your images uploaded to a uh, reasonable file size and dimensions to your website. It's um, it's something that I recommend everybody do. It's a free plugin that you can find on a WordPress.org uh, repository, and it is highly regarded as one of the best image resize plugins out there. So again, everyone, just go to plugins, add new, type in the name Insanity. Press return, and then this is the plugin you're going to want uh, to install. Um, it's, um, you know, again, it's uh, five stars, 90,000 active installations, and it does the work for you. Instead of having to go in there and manually edit each and every single image you're going to be uploading, this allows you to save time. So this is just one of the tools that I highly recommend that people who have a WordPress powered website use. And stay tuned for the next episode because we'll show you another tool that um, is very beneficial for images that are uploaded to your website and how to manage them. Alright, so if you have any thoughts, ideas, suggestions, or comments, leave them down below in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe because we're going to be giving you a ton of WordPress insights over the next uh, few days, weeks, months, and hopefully years uh, to help you manage your website um, the best way possible. So don't forget, stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.